Hi everyone, it's Jason here from Just Pure, and welcome to my Friday limited company clip. Each week I'm going to be delivering little bite-sized clips so you can understand limited companies more and how accounts and tax work, just so it may help you a little bit in the future. Now my name is Jason Blackman, I run a practice called Just Pure, and you can uh, contact me. My email address is justpurelewis, L-E-W-E-S, at gmail.com. Or my website is justpure.co.uk. We provide all accountancy, tax, bookkeeping, VAT, payroll, anything you can think of relating to your numbers. That's what we do. So please do give us a shout if we can help in any way. Now, for your limited company, what will happen is you will be uh, provided with accounts and corporation tax return. And quite often, your accountant will send you what's called corporation tax computations. And I'm sure a lot of clients just look at that and kind of glaze over and uh, kind of wish they could understand it a little bit better. So I've got a corporation tax calculation in front of me today and I'm just going to very, very briefly run through just what it means, just so you can understand it that little bit better. So in the first section it says corporation tax here. So, well actually before that we've got the name of the company, we've got the company number, the UTR, unique tax reference and the accounting period. In this case it's, uh, it's a bit longer than a year. Hence the name Long Period Limited. Um, but the first thing we'll see is the trading profits. So this is the profits of our limited company. And then we get a little breakdown of how the corporation tax is charged. Now quite often in corporation tax calculations you'll see financial year, in this case 2018, and financial year 2019. Now HMRC break down corporation tax years um, and they're classed as 1st of April to the 31st of March. So in this case, the 2018 corporation tax year is 1st of April 18 to 31st of March 19. Now as you can see from the long period here, um, the year 1st of April 18 to 31st of March 19, you kind of got a small bit, a small bit in that year, hence the lower profit figure in that year. Now the reason it does this is, um, in um, well certainly in the past, there's been differing rates of corporation tax. Um, as it happens at the moment, they're the same, so it doesn't really matter. But the reason it's split on the corporation tax calculation is that HMRC will always show you, or the tax calculation will always show you, um, the figures split down into their corporation tax years, which as I say are 1st of April to 31st of March. So 1st of April 18 to 31st of March 19 year, the taxable profits are 10,623. Rate of corporation tax is 19%, so that gives 2018.37. And the financial year 19, which is 1st of April 19 to 31st of March 20, and as you can see, that's the bulk of this year, or the bulk of this period, I should say. The profits there are 77,501 at 19% corporation tax, which is 1472519. So total CT bill for the period is 1674356. So it's just really to explain, when you see financial year um, and two different lines on your corporation tax calculation, the reason it's split is because the corporation tax year in HMRC's eyes runs from the 1st of April to 31st of March. So then we've got trading profits, we've got profit per accounts, so we can see that's different from this figure here. Now that's because we have what's called capital allowances. So if the limited company has bought any fixed assets, that's assets of long life, then you can claim a certain percentage against those. In this case, we've claimed £900 against those assets. So the original profit, less than £900, equals the, the, the balancing figure, and that's the figure that's chargeable to corporation tax. So in other words, the capital allowance we've got on our corporate, on, sorry, the capital allowance we've got on, our, uh, on the asset we've bought, that will come off the profit before we pay tax. So it's just a little, little bit of allowance against any any sort of uh, large assets that the company has bought. And as you can see just below that we've got trading capital analysis, plant and machinery, main pool £900 there, so that's £900 we've claimed on the asset. And just a little summary of that beneath that, plant and machinery main pool, which is the pool that we've used, plant and machinery, we've got £5,000 that the asset was purchased for, we've claimed £900 allowance, which has come off our profit figure and we've got a written down value to carry forward to next year of 4,100. So we bought the asset for 5,000, we've claimed 900 pound against it in this year, in this period, and we've left with a balance of 4,100 to claim in the next period, or certainly that figure will be brought forward in the next period so that we can claim our, our next year's allowance um, against that figure. 
So that's just a very brief summary of how a corporation tax return calculation works. Um, if you need any more information, obviously give me a shout. My email address is justpurelewis, L-E-W-E-S, at gmail.com. My website is www.justpure.co.uk. And if you've enjoyed this video, it would be really brilliant if you could give it a like. And if you could subscribe to the channel, every Friday we produce clips for limited companies just to sort of help them on their way as they go along their accounting journey. So I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you all again soon.